yo what's in guys it's ready a back with a new tutorial video so in this tutorial guys i'm going to show you how you can create amazing intro for your edits which will look like this So the thing we need to make this intro, we just need to download the app which is called All Light Motion. So this app is free on Google Play Store and Apple Store. So if you don't have it, go check it out. It's so cool app, so you can use it to make your uh, to make your intro. So once you're in that app, you will get a screen which look like this. So the thing you need to do is just you need to click on the green button down which have press sign so just click on that button and it will give you these options you can choose any resolution you want uh, and you can also choose uh, which size of your screen you want to use for your intro so i'm just gonna go ahead with this one and also i'm not going to change anything here i'm just gonna leave it like this so then okay with what you want to use just click create project And once you have done to click create project, you get this screen. So the thing you need to do here, just click on this green and gray. So just click on this green button down there and you please sign again. Just click on it and you get this thing in here and you get this option right here. So here on the left, you can see there is free hand drawing, vector, um, vector drawing and text. So we're just going to add a text because you make, uh, because you want to use, uh, because you want to make an intro with our name or uh, whatever you want to use so just go ahead and click on text once you're done to click on text just put any text that you want to use like your channel name or what if i want to use i don't know so i'm just gonna head and put name here so now just click on this um this click on this button in the right just put it in the middle and also we're going to change the font so the font i'm going to use is little way black so this is the font i'm going to use and that font is in all emotion so you need to download any font here and also the color i want i'm going to change the color to white color let's go back and once you're done to go back you have this um so let's make it two seconds. Oh, it's already two seconds. Okay, we are okay with this. So let's make it a little more long. And uh, once I've done to make it a little more long, uh, the only thing you need to do is just need to click. Uh, the thing you need to do, you just need to tap on the text. And once I've done to tap on the text, as you can see, there is effects. So tap on effects option. Once I've done to tap on effect, and um, then click add effect. And once I've done to click on add effect, go to text and in a text effect you just want to use this text transformation transform so go ahead and click on text transform effect once you're done to click on text transform just go ahead and go down all the way down and here you can see this shape here and the square smooth triangle so we need to make it smooth so just add smooth option and once i've done to click on smooth just click on overlay fill color now we don't need to change that so let's go way up and once you have done there just this offset option here as you can see offset and you need to click on this button to add a keyframe so click on this button and add one keyframe and then go all the way here like on one second and three all right so add another add another keyframe right here and once you're done to add another keyframe go to the first keyframe then take the offset to to minus uh, however you want so i'm going to take it to minus 454 for 50, 500 okay i take it to 400 to 500 so i'm going to take it to minus 500 and once i've done to take it to minus 500 
you have this animation which look like this so go click on this graph tool right here you can see this is graph tool so once you have done to click on it just choose add make a graph tool which make a graph which look like this and once you have done to make the graph which look like this just go back and you have this animation like this and once you have that animation just click on So as you can see we have this cool animation which, like, which look like this so go to text transform again and now once you uh, so now go to angle go to the second keyframe right here add a keyframe and then add another keyframe just left to the the keyframe we have just added just near from the first one and go to the second keyframe then change the angle to thing, something like this and what I've done to change the angle to something like that just go to graph, graph tool here and change the graph tool like this so we have this animation And once you're done with that, just tap on the text again and then go to effect. And once you're done, tap effect, go add effect, go on color and fill. So, in color and fill effect, we just need to use the effect which is sword color. So, go on sword color and go ahead and add that effect sword color and then change the color to the color you like to use. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with red red color then here on alpha so go to alpha then here you're gonna add keyframe from the beginning then another keyframe here and another one also right here so from the beginning just take the alpha to zero from the first keyframe just take the alpha to zero then from the second keyframe just take it on the on sat 7 so take the it on sat 7 and then from the last keyframe just review to 100 then use this graph tool again and also right here use the graph tool same graph tool as you have just used so as you can see we have this animation and once you have something like that once you have something like that so then tap on the text again go to move and transform add the keyframe from the beginning and also add another one and another one just near from the keyframe I've just added then the, on the second keyframe just zoom it little and then on the third keyframe just zoom it and bring it right here and just use this graph tool again and use again a graph tool like that so as you can see you have this animation so now we need to add more effect to do that just click tap on name on the text you have just added then go back to effect add effect and then go to and then go to move and transform move transform and look for effect which is oscrate so go to oscrate effect then tap on the oscrate effect go to oscrate and you need to change some settings so put the angle to zero and also put the frequency to three and on magnitude magnitude you need to change many things so add keyframe right here and another one just near from the first one then add another one from the end so on this first keyframe just take it to zero and then on the second one 
just take it to 74 so leave it on 74 and then on the last one take it to zero again so here just use this key frame uh, do use this graph tool again and change to like this and also right here like this so as you can see right now we have this animation and then add a background so to do that just click on the press button button and tap make it bigger a little more bigger and then make sure that it's the same size as the first one so make change the color to red and go to blending and opacity go to writing go to Rhino Dodge so change it to Rhino and Dodge and then go to effect go on the last one Aras and then choose copy background and once I've done to choose copy background go back then click add effect then go to bra and once you have done once you're in bra just click uh, add zoom bra so change the center y to minus 49 and then on strength just add something like that take it to one and then as you can see we have this animation so go to the background you have just added and go to move and transform go on the second one then add the keyframe here and another one So on the second keyframe just take it here to 360 or zero whatever you want so use this graph tool right here and as you can see now you have so as you can see now you have graph uh, we have animation which look like right that so add another new background just make the end so add a small background change the color to black and then go on the text then bring it here so this is the intro you can Bruh. make with all emotion and you can use it for your edits so if this video guys helped you make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more videos like this and in the next video i will show you guys how you can make velocity edit so make sure to leave a like and subscribe so guys i will see you next time and don't forget to comment what tutorials you want to see next if you have an idea that will help me a lot so guys stay safe and see you next time